Welcome, listeners, to a night of mystery, suspense, sci-fi, and romance. This is the Two Timer Series Collective, a collection created by D.B. Watson, writer of the Two Timer Series, available on Amazon and Kindle Villa. In this program, you will hear a different tale once a week, read by me, A.J. Carter. If you enjoy any of these stories, please leave a like and a comment. If you'd like a story and want to read more, leave a comment and DB might grant your wish. They would love to hear from you. You can email them at fakesubmite at gmail.com or visit their website and see all their titles. Savior, a second story following Penance. The journey of the remaining survivors of the now dead planet of spirit was long. The food supply dwindled due to contamination. Even most of their water was unfit to drink. Spirit citizens became sick, and others died and wanted action from their leader. Omar Zavur needed to prevent occurring suicide. The people of spirit didn't want to go on living without their lost loved ones. Omar tried to calm the fears and hopelessness of his subjects by reassuring them of a new home. Omar's fleet entered the boundaries of the Collective's territory. They granted Omar permission to use the Slipjet to get to where Sovereign Ivan Tova resides. Ivan greeted Omar with his fleet. Omar boarded one of Ivan's shuttles that took him to his flagship to negotiate the terms for passage. Omar embraced his long-distant friend, surrendering his pain on Ivan's shoulder. Ivan's heart raced while he held his desire in his arms. Now, now, my friend, all is well. You're alive, Ivan said, smelling Omar's scent. Without Toady and Eka, my people are dying, Ivan, he said in despair. Their sacrifices were for the greater good. I will make you and your surviving citizens comfortable until I decide whether to integrate your people into Zion society. Omar didn't like how Ivan phrased integrating something Ivan had wanted for a long time. Ivan stepped away, lacing his fingers behind his back as he spoke. Spirits people, classified as visiting citizens, must conform to Zion's beliefs. The children's education will only go through Zion's teachings. Ivan, please. Ivan ignored Omar as he continued. It is forbidden for visiting citizens to practice herbal or alchemy without my approval. Omar studied the man he called friend. Ivan, our customs will become new, he said, grasping his shoulders. Omar, you must trust me. I can't inject new citizens into Zion and expect them to embrace them. That would cause confusion and chaos. Ivan's grip tightened on Omar's shoulder, causing Omar to see the unyielding force in his eyes. Omar agreed to Ivan's terms, having no choice and nowhere else to go. Ivan, perhaps I could be placed on Ambrosia, where I can do my work. A sovereign on Ambrosia? Ridiculous. You will stay in my palace. But my skills, your skills. You are a sovereign and nothing more. You must lead, not toil in the dirt. Ivan, if you would just... Enough, Omar! Ivan reined in his temper as he saw Omar's reaction. Aren't you tired? I know your subjects are. They must be. You should think of them right now. Although shocked, Omar knew Ivan was right. He must ignore his comfort for their sake. You're right, Ivan. I was being selfish. Only to me. Come. Ivan released him and took his hand. You'll soon understand my way is best. Ivan was true to his word. They ignored Spirit's customs and gave Omar's chosen subjects duties on Zion. Spirit citizens took positions on the factory production line and others working in the town of Ambrosia. The orphaned children were placed in Zion households. Ivan pampered Omar every day, ignoring Omar's requests from his subjects. On one evening in the palace, Omar enjoyed a relaxing bath, a tranquil massage, and a rich meal in Ivan's private quarters. Omar picked at the sumptuous food as Ivan's servants fussed over their liege. Ivan noticed his friend's aloofness. Omar? Omar glanced up at Ivan, jabbing his fork at his meal. Talk to me, my friend. I don't have the strength, Ivan, confessed Omar. 
Ivan sighed and looked at the waiting servants around them. Everyone out, he snapped. No one hesitated as the room cleared, leaving the two men alone. Omar watched the people scramble to obey Ivan's wishes, their heads still bowed. When they shut the door, Omar returned his gaze to his unfinished plate. He placed his fork down, sat back in his seat, and locked eyes with Ivan. You're an intimidating man. Your people fear you, said Omar. You're wrong. My people love me. He pointed at the door where his servants had exited. They fear me. They are your people. No, they're not. They are nothing but property to be obtained and traded. How can you talk about them like that? Omar, you will come to learn the roles of the Zion elite. You were born a sovereign and should reflect that. I know how to act as a leader. Perhaps, Omar. But here on Zion, things are different. You will have to adapt to our ways. So you're saying my ways are dead? Ivan paused as he reapproached the subject. The citizens of Zion would not understand your ways. So to keep the peace, it's best if your people follow the rules. Omar looked away as Ivan stood and walked over, kneeling by his side. Omar, I beg of you, try Zion's ways for now. You might agree with them. And remember, if it weren't for your people in fixing our dwindling food supply, my people wouldn't be here. All three planets are thriving because of you. Ivan, no, Omar. When the offering comes, you will change your mind. I need you to trust me. Omar pushed his doubt aside again. All right, Ivan. I'll follow your lead. That's all I ask, my friend, and I promise you will not regret your decision. Thank you for listening. This is a short story by D.B. Watson and read by me, A.J. Carter. You can find the Thriller series at Amazon.com under D.B. Watson slash Two Timer Series or at her website at twotimers.squarespace.com, on audio at audible.com and Kindle Villa. If you would like to hire me, A.J. Carter, to narrate your project, you can find me on aj.cartervo at gmail.com. Thank you, and see you next week.